Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to test an emissions vapor purge solenoid. First, get access to the purge, remove the electrical connection to the purge solenoid. After you do that, hook up the vacuum pump and tester to the hose going to your vapor purge solenoid. If you don't have access to this hose like I do on this Toyota Tacoma, you could just put a hose on the end or to the inlet of your vapor purge solenoid and directly to your vacuum pump and gauge. Now we want to test the vapor purge solenoid by applying five to seven inches of vacuum to that solenoid. Now let's set up this little gizmo I made. This is a nine volt pigtail to a momentary switch to two small speaker wire connectors. In this case, when I hit the red button, the vacuum on the vacuum gauge will drop. You can see it drop. If yours does do this the first time or it doesn't, either way, I always like to check everything two to three times before I say it's bad and go ahead and replace it. But this is how I test the vapor purge solenoid on darn near any vehicle out there. If a vapor purge solenoid is going bad, you might have some starting issues. So it might take a little bit longer to crank to start the vehicle. And also you'll get some lean codes or even some rich codes. So fuel efficiency codes will come up due to a bad vapor purge solenoid. I will list possible causes or possible codes in the description below. So make sure you take some time and look at those. Also in the description below will be tools and parts used in this video. Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. A ton more videos coming out. Like, subscribe, and share. Please tell everybody about me, and I'll see you on the next hopefully helpful video.